Jeff, and congratulations to the four of you Brainiacs for making it to this level. Let's talk shop. Austin. All right, I got to hear it. The squeak toy laugh. Let's hear it. <laughs> that is very funny and creepy all at the same time. I like it. Philip. How you doing? Good. How Good. About you? I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, tell me about scoring this girl's number when you were five years old. Um, it was the last day of school, and we were passing yearbooks around. I asked her, "Can I have your phone number?" And she said, "No." What? Well, her loss. Look at you now, level two, baby. All right. Maya, how's it going? Good. Good. Uh, you bark like a chihuahua. Well, you can't make that claim unless you can back it up. Let's hear it. <laughs> okay, Chihuahua Chew Toy. You guys should get together. Alyssa, what's the deal with your obsession with bananas? I don't really know. I mean, they're yellow, so it's like sunshine you can eat. Plus, it's a great source of potassium. Let's not forget that. Yeah, like that's important. <laughs> <laughs> Enough chit chat, let's get to the game play! Level two. All right, guys, on this level, I'm gonna read you a story from Jeff's big book of super fantastic true chronicles of truth that are absolutely true. On your feet, it's story time. <laughs> Sometimes I struggle with it. It is big and it's full of truth. Listen and pay close attention to the story I'm about to read you because when it's all over, I'm gonna ask you some questions. You got it? Remember, everything I'm about to tell you is absolutely 100% true. I love amusement parks. The rides, the games, the sticky popcorn covered ground. Here's some rides and attractions from my last visit. I had a blast on the roller coaster, but when I got off, all my change was missing. If you're into water and bark, then the log ride is for you. The bumper cars are okay if you have collision insurance, and going down the giant slide with a potato sack would have been better without the potatoes. I was craving some Ferris wheel action, but it was closed, and the bouncer threw me out of the bounce house. The tilt to hurl lived up to its name, and the airplane ride was awesome as soon as I went renegade. I don't know why they call it the merry-go-round. I guess slow ride to nowhere was taken. And the pony ride wasn't at all what I expected. So I tried my luck at some games. The beanbag toss, a little messy. And I wasn't as good at the basketball toss as my friend Stretch. Try as I might at the milk bottle toss, I still couldn't knock down those baseballs. And I didn't pop any balloons at the dart toss, but the guy gave me a prize anyway. I scored a lot of arcade claw prizes thanks to my mad claw skills. I was really impressed by the fortune teller's predictions, but the funhouse mirrors just made everyone look normal. I wasn't afraid of getting sick on the Viking ship as much as getting pillaged. Even scarier was the haunted school. <laughs> Spooky. But my all-time favorite is still the farting hand chairs. That's my story, guys, and it's all 100% true. All right. To lock in your answers, all you're gonna do is sit down. If you hear this, that means you're right. If you hear this, Maya, would you please demonstrate? Uh-oh, that means you're gonna wanna hang on for the bride. You might wanna plug your nose, too. All right, Maya, you can get back on your feet. One at a time, just name an attraction or ride from my recent trip. Roller coaster. The roller coaster, have a seat and hold on. You got it. Philip. Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel, sit and hold. Maya, over to you. Bumper cars. Bumper cars. Alyssa. Log ride. Log ride. Austin. Need an answer. Basketball toss. Basketball toss. You got it. Nice job. Philip. Arcade claw. Arcade claw. You got it. Maya. Milk bottle toss. Milk bottle toss, nice job. Alyssa. Hand chair. Hand chair. It's an easy one. Austin, back to you. Dart throw. Dart throw. Philip. Looks like she stole yours. Haunted school. Haunted school. Nice recovery. Maya. Fortune teller. Fortune teller. Nice job. Alyssa. Um. Fun house. Fun house. You got it. Austin, pressure is on. Oh, 
Time's running out. Need an answer? Anything? Oh, I have to have a seat and hang on. Oh! Philip, over to you. Um, the. Need an answer? Oh no, Philip, sit and hold. So congratulations, you guys are moving on. It's time for a knockout round. Knockout round. All right, I'm gonna fire it up right here. Behind those numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Match a pair correctly, you stay in the game. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to memorize that board and it starts right now. Time's up. All right, Maya, what's your first number? Five. Five. And 11. And 11. You got yourself a match, Maya. Alyssa, over to you. One. One. And 16. And 16. And the claw is off the board. Maya. Four. Four. And 12. And 12. Fortune teller, you're out of there. Alyssa. Um, two. Two. And nine. Nine. Uh-oh, guess what? We are in sudden death territory. Dun, dun, dun. All that really means is the next correct match is today's Brain Search Champion, and we'll move on to the final round. Maya, what's your first number? Two. Two. And for the win. Seven. Seven. Oh, not a match. It's over to Alyssa. Seven. Seven. And, and this nine. Is for the win. Nine, you got yourself a match. Alyssa, you are today's Brain Search Champion. Congratulations. Maya, you did an awesome job, but you know what has to happen. Have a seat and hang on. Oh. Alyssa. Congratulations, you are going on to the final round where you're gonna have a chance at thousands of dollars in prizes plus a sliming of a lifetime. Let's see what Austin, Philip, and Maya won for making it this far. Congratulations, you've won a Southern California City Pass. Southern California City Pass is a discount booklet of admissions to Disneyland, Universal Studios Hollywood, SeaWorld, and San Diego Zoo. City Pass saves. There's only one way out of here and it is down the 